Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Liberty Park Music. In this first lesson, we'll start with the very first two things you will need to know about playing the piano. First is how to sit at the piano, and second is the correct hand position for playing. Once you master these two things, you're off to a good start to learn how to play the piano. Learning how to sit at the piano is important because it affects how you move when you play the piano, and it also makes a difference in your sound. Like anything else, bad posture can lead to physical discomfort and injury. So what does it mean exactly to sit properly at the piano? There are two aspects in play here, height and distance. We'll talk about each in a little bit, but first, let's start with some general guidelines on posture. Go ahead and sit tall and straight, feet flat on the ground. Check that you're sitting on the front of the bench. Our torso needs to move freely from our hip joint. If you're sitting too far back, then it's difficult to move forward from the hip joint. Now go ahead and place your hands on the keyboard. Your forearm should be leveled with the keyboard, parallel to the floor. Your elbows and upper arms should fall freely from the shoulders. Here's how you can tell if you're sitting too low. If your wrists are not level with your hands and they're drooping below the keyboard and your shoulders are down and you're hunched over. If you're sitting too high, most likely your forearms will angle up and your arms will feel as if they're hanging in the air like this. If you have an adjustable bench, go ahead and adjust the height. If you're sitting too low, then find a cushion or a book to sit on. If you're sitting too high, then find a lower chair to sit on. How do you know if you're sitting at the right distance from the piano? If you are, Go ahead and put your hands on the keyboard. Your elbows will be slightly in front of your torso. If your elbows are behind your torso, then you're sitting too close. If your elbows are way far out, away from your body, then you're sitting too far away. Go ahead and adjust your bench. Another way to check is if you're using the pedal, your right foot should rest comfortably on the right pedal, with your knee slightly tucked in under the piano. If you feel like you have to reach for the pedal, then you're sitting too far. If your knees are in front of your feet when you pedal, then you're sitting too close. Now, let your arms hang down loosely on the sides in a relaxed manner. Feel the weight of your arms. Let your hands hang loose too. Notice the natural curve in your hands. This is the hand position you want to play the piano. You can think of it as a C, or imagine you're holding a round object like a ball or a bubble in your hand. Just like your arms, keep your hands in a relaxed manner. Go ahead and place this hand position on the keys. The idea of curving your fingers as you play is so to bring the thumb into the proper playing position and provide an arch with space that allows the thumb to pass under the fingers or the fingers to cross over the thumb so it's a lot easier to move about the keys. The best example of this is a scale. This hand position avoids the unnatural twisting of the wrist as well as unnecessary stretches of the hands which can both potentially lead to injury. 
Notice the thumb plays on the side tip. And the other fingers are played on the fingertips. Find a ball about the size of your hand. Hold the ball in your hand and try to play a few notes on the piano. This is the hand position we want. Switch the ball to the other hand and try the same thing. That's it for today's lesson on how to sit at the piano and the correct hand position for playing. Take a photo or video record yourself sitting in front of your piano or keyboard to check your posture. You can also check your posture using the guidelines in this video and also with the downloadable checklist. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about finger numbers as well as how to play the piano with our arms. See you next time!